Well, the road to the World Series begins tomorrow with the Battle for the North. And the Twins have made sure fans will have a new experience during the AL Wild Card, seri card Series against Toronto. Kent Erdahl is at Target Field with a first look for us. Hi, Kent. Hey, there's a lot going on at Target Field right now today. It's been a lot of fun. The Twins just got off the field warming up out here for that big showdown tomorrow. The Blue Jays just got on the field. And behind the scenes, the team is gearing up in a lot of different ways. Of course, for fans, that of course means the new Homer Hankies are here and ready to be out there. But there is a lot more, both figuratively and physically, in store. The Twins Clubhouse store at Target Field is a popular stop for fans looking to gear up for a big week. We're shopping for some stuff to cheer on the Twins game tomorrow. Are we going to go to it? No, we're just going to watch it, but you get to wear this stuff to school, right? Maggie Kelly may not be grabbing tickets for the family, but those who do will get a free Homer hanky at the gate and will also have a surprisingly extensive lineup of five new playoff foods to sample. The Twins have looked pretty good since the All-Star game, so was, we knew there was a pretty good chance we would be going, so we kind of started putting some new stuff out there and kind of see what stuck. Target Field Executive Chef Robert Gaston says the land of 10,000 rakes walleye sandwich is a personal fave. Well, he hopes the new playoff punch cocktail will be raised high as the team tries to quench a playoff drought that started before he did. This is my 11th season with the Twins, so I've been here for quite a while. Okay, so you want to taste some victory too in the postseason. I do. I've been a Twins fan since I was little. My grandparents were Twins fans, so it's, it's been a long time. Fortunately, as a division winner, the Twins will host the entire best of three series, though that could also mean our neighbors to the north who support the Blue Jays will likely look to swoop in and make some noise too. It's part of the fun of postseason. You know, you want a great atmosphere here in the ballpark and uh, Twins, Blue Jays, anytime we get together, it's a lot of fun for both fan bases and uh, we're sure the crowd will be, uh, be raucous on both sides. Hopefully a lot more Twins fans. Uh, we're counting on that. We've seen that play out so far on, on where the tickets have been purchased from. That's so exciting. Reminds me of my childhood, yeah. The Kellys might not be in attendance, but they will definitely be cheering and waving from home. I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful this year that you guys get to see some Twins wins. Jack, can you say go Twins? <laughs> we believe that is the slogan this year. That is what we'll be waving in the stands come tomorrow night. The nice thing about all of this is that even though the Twins haven't had a postseason win since 2004, they get a couple of chances at it here maybe three if they need it. All those games are at home in this wild card round, so the team definitely wants everyone to come out and cheer them on. Back to you. Love it. Thank you, Kent.